I got to tell you, I've covered a lot of these political conventions over the years, and the security here is as tight as anything I have ever seen. And you can understand why when you see what happened in Baton Rouge over the weekend, what happened in Dallas before that, and just all of the tension uh, and angst that this political season uh, has provided out there on the campaign trail. All of that coming here to Cleveland now. They say they are ready for the onslaught starting today. Take a look at some of the fundraising numbers, just what's being spent here. Uh, they got a $50 million federal security grant. That's just part of the overall spending here. Of that, $30 million for employees, $20 million for equipment, and 5,500 total officers are assigned here to the Republican National Convention security team. 10,000 extra handcuffs have been purchased and about 1,000 beds cleared in local jails. And take a look at some of the scenes that we saw yesterday uh, just around Cleveland, starting with uh, some of these Coast Guard boats out in the on Lake Erie on the harbor side of Cleveland. Uh, they had boats out there on patrol every 50 yards or so, machine guns bristling, uh, ready to defend from the water. The city here also saw uh, U.S. military military style uh, heavy machine guns being brought in in, in uh, suburbans, uh, kind of machine guns that you don't normally see at any kind of political event, tripod mounted heavy equipment. So they are really ready for just about anything here. Big police presence out in the street. We've got gates up all around this convention center where I'm standing right now. So it is going to be a very, very secure environment here, guys, and we're hoping that all goes well through the week. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.